Hey guys, welcome, or better yet, welcome back to Pandora Plays Games! I'm so happy to see you today, we are continuing day 7, let's jump in. It's been crazy, it's been fun, as you see, I've been playing the game all day, <laughs> because it's just that fun, I just can't stop playing it, I want to know what's gonna happen next. But now I'm kind of like stumped with this card, 5 miles south of the tallest, but one, it grows in peace in the midday zone. I feel like they're talking about a tree? But I don't know. I might be probably wrong. I just noticed that there's two circles. <laughs> okay, so five miles south of the tallest, but one. It grows in peace in the midday sun. Oh, oh, look at this. Yeah, they must mean, uh, the mountains because it has numbers five miles south of the tallest but one okay so i'm thinking the second tallest but i might be wrong nine okay let me just start by finding them nine seven They're all in the eights. Maybe that's on purpose. Maybe that's to help us. You know what I mean? If I'm not like, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> so I would think this one. Five miles south. Oh boy. Wait. Five miles south of the tallest plus one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Nine seven. Unless I miss one. That would be so annoying. 902. 10. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Um. Nah, there's no other nines. Okay, five. So it'd be from this one. Oh my god, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! Oh, it feels good. The forest here is lush and vibrant. The bird song feels enchanting. Like the call of sirens. Nestled in the undergrowth, under the shade of a birch tree, a plant grows. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> My first thought was that it looked like a snail. What the heck? I don't know. That is a weird plant. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Hey girl. I was able to strip away the swift snares, vines, and lift the lid. With more than a little trepidation, I'll admit. Oh. To my relief, but also disappointment, the coffin contained nothing but dust. At least that's what I thought at first, but when I looked closer, I discovered a golden amulet embedded in the gray ash. Huh. On the back of the amulet is an inscription that says, With Solomon's scepter I awake. <gasps> oh my goodness. Let's do it. Solomon scepter. Huh. What's that? Also known alarmingly as Hell's Gate and sometimes Solomon's Scorn, the flowers of the plant are commonly used in witchcraft and other satanic practices. Many sweet smelling small flowers grow along the stems. That looks right, but that's a weird name for such a pretty flower. Solomon's 
Solomon's Scepter. Alright, that is bizarre. Okay, let's do purple. Boop. Whoops. Alright. Okie dokes. So fun. Oh. I heard a shepherd got killed by some wild beast up near the Swinside Stone Circle. They say it slaughtered half his flock as well. Mm. Huh? Can't mirror. Is there a can't mirror eye? Yeah, I really, really don't know. All right, let's just keep going. Well, this is getting interesting. I was able to confirm that it was indeed gilded dendra that was used at the Swin Side ritual site. That's a worrying sign. It's a plant that is used in several of the darker incantations. And it can't be a coincidence that the very same plant was used to poison the Arda. There must be a connection between this other murder and the sisterhood. I need some mental clarity to think it through some more. Maiden Sorrow. Okay. What is that? That looks a bit like this one, doesn't it? Rubbing the soft leaves of this plant between one's fingers and thumb is said to help prevent the mind from wandering. Providing a fo focusing effect, the flowers of this plant droop mournfully. But it is the thorns along its stem that are thought to lend it its name. Yeah, that is definitely that one. Mm. Maiden Sorrow. Oh my goodness, what is going on in this story? It's so bizarre, isn't it? Oh my god. Okay, keep going. It looks like I'm going to have to make a trip to Black Cone. Verona noticed something at the Swinside site that's had me pondering. A piece of slate with a symbol drawn on it in black. Can't think of anywhere else around there where you'd get slate from. That and Bradley Miller keeps insisting that he saw something up at Black Comb, but then again Bradley Miller does claim that Fairy stole his wheelbarrow. If I'm going to spend a night out in the hills, I'll want to take some eyebright with me. Eyebrow oh boy. What is that? Eye bright. Is it this thing? Take care not to touch its brightly colored thorns. They will do no lasting damage, but they contain a small amount of venom that will cause a severe pain for several days after. A plant that only grows to the south in warmer climates, where they call it loath after a long dead king. Known to improve eyesight at night. And even the darkest places. Oh. Okay, here you go. Eye bright. Okay. Okay. 
Let's go. Does it ever stop raining in Undermere? You have a reputation in town for knowing about unusual plants. I need some gray sand fire. Nobody around here seems to even know what I'm talking about, but I hope I'm in the right place now. What is that? Gray sand fire. Hmm. Sand fire has a tough outer bark. Okay. Wait, what? Smells faintly of wood smoke. Feels like rough glass or paper. Sandfire has a tough outer bark which has many useful properties. Some chew it as a form of dental hygiene. Taking care not to swallow it as it can cause unpleasant stomach distress. The flame-like tendrils give off a smoky scent, adding the impression of a roaring fire. Yay! <gasps> what? That was so fast! Oh my god. Okay, gray sand fire. Gray sand fire. That is nuts. The thing is that we haven't, I haven't solved this one. Kentmere, I. I still don't know what that is. Hmm. Don't know. Lowick to Ilgil Head. Fox field to crinkle crags. What is that? At first she felt free, but it wasn't long before the reality of her situation began to take its toll. She stole food when she was hungry and slept in makeshift shelters, not knowing where she was going, not caring. Eventually she made her way to Grisdale Forest. Oh my goodness, that is so bizarre. And so much fun. I hope you'll join me at the next Let's Play. Bye, guys.